Let's check out example number nine, focusing on choosing the appropriate tool of measure. So when we talk about uh, choosing the appropriate tool of measure, our keyword is gonna be appropriate. We have to choose the unit of measure that works best for the scenario. So it's gonna require you to think a little more critically because there will be some answers that do apply, but we wanna pick the best answer for the scenario. So make sure you guys are studying the charts that I provided for you guys that shows you the different units of measure in terms of length, volume, weight, or mass, and also the measurement tools that are commonly associated with those particular units of measure. So remember, we're gonna approach everything in a super simple ma manner. We're gonna kiss it, we're gonna keep it super simple. So this, of course, can be achieved in three steps. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna identify a unit of measure based on whatever they're asking us to do. We're gonna eliminate the units that don't fit, and then we're gonna choose what's most appropriate. So let's put this into action. So this question says, what's the best unit of measure for the mass of a cell phone? So what is our trigger? Well, our trigger is they ask us, what's the best unit of measure? So that kind of lets me know the ballpark that I'm in. Well, what are they asking us to measure? They're asking us to measure the mass of a cell phone, all right? So now we understand what they're asking us. They want to know what can we best use to measure the mass. So mass, of course, is going to represent weight of a cell phone. And of course, a cell phone is a, co a common object that we all use on a daily basis. So that's our first step. Identifying a unit of measure, I know is the mass. All right, now based on the options that they give us, we need to eliminate the units that don't fit. What don't fit? in terms of math so it's easier for us to decipher what will be the most appropriate well i know that tons measures weight or mass so that stays inches is going to represent length all right and that's not what the question is asking us for they're asking us for the mass so i know i can eliminate that option all right if i go here with pints pints falls more in line with volume so I can eliminate that because we're looking for mass. And of course, ounces is going to go with mass. So we're going to leave tons because that goes with mass. And we're going to leave ounces because that goes with mass. All right, based on what's left, let's go into our third step. Choose what's most appropriate. So we know common sense wise, if tons measures mass and ounces measures mass, we're looking for the mass of the cell phone, so either one of those could work. But what's the most appropriate? When we think of tons, we need to think of larger objects, things that weigh a lot, like we talk about cars, they weigh tons. We talk about elephants. Things that are extremely heavy are measured in tons. When we think about ounces, I always think about things that are extremely small, like if I think of like pieces of fruit, or, you know, even when um, we do like measurements in the kitchen, um, things are measured in ounces or things are measured in cups. So when we think of this scenario for a cell phone and we think of the size of a cell phone, I know immediately that tons has to be eliminated because why? Because it's too big. It's too large. It just doesn't make sense in this scenario. Of course, the best answer would be here which would be in ounces. So anytime you guys are doing these particular types of questions, you always want to choose whatever works best. So the best thing I can tell you, of course, is to follow our steps. The very first thing you want to do is identify what unit of measure you're looking for. And that's going to be included in the actual word problem. We're looking for math. So based on this, let's look at our answer choices and eliminate what doesn't fit. Well, we decided that inches didn't fit because that measured length. Pints didn't fit because that measured volume. So that left me with tons, that left me with ounces because both of these units measure mass. Now, based on both of these units, what was the most appropriate? What made the most sense in reference to a cell phone? Well, I know that tons measure large, large objects like cars or elephants, things that are super huge. Ounces are more sensible and they make more sense in reference to the situation. So with this, you just have to keep exposing yourself to a lot of different scenarios. You have to keep seeing things and you have to train your mind to understand what makes sense in that scenario. And you guys should be good to go.